Do you grow sand dunes or perhaps are thinking of getting started? You have come to the right place. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to grow sand dunes from seeds, starting with the sowing process. This plant right here is my Drosera natalensis. I got it about five months ago and almost as soon as I got it, it started flowering. So I was actually able to collect seeds that I put in this envelope right here. And those seeds are the ones that we will be sowing today. This Drosera natalensis is one of my favorite sundews right now that I have. It's very pretty. It has really bright colors, lots of dew. It is originally from South Africa and it is considered a subtropical sundew. It is also very easy to care for. So I really like to have a lot more of these in my collection. Before I demonstrate how to sow all those seeds, I need to explain all of the elements you need to get it started with the process. Please pay, pay close attention because making any mistakes at this point can end up making the germination unsuccessful. So let's just start by talking about the soil. Carnivorous plants like sand use are very picky in terms of what type of potting media they need. They cannot be potted in a standard potting media such as miracle Grow because it contains too many minerals and too many fertilizers. For that reason, is that most people pot carnivorous plants in either peat moss, like the one I have right here, long fibrous sphagnum moss, or a combination of those with perlite or silica sand. So uh, for this process, you will need some type of carnivorous plant media. I have added a, a bunch of links in the description below if you would like to search through some options, so you make sure to buy the correct, the correct soil. Besides the soil, there's also another important factor that is equally critical, and it is the water. You should never employ tap water or bottled water for your carnivorous plants, as they contain too many minerals. Instead, use some type of pure water that can be rainwater, arrow water, or distilled water. Personally, I always buy the type of jug of distilled water in the grocery store. It's very cheap, it's about 90 cents, and it can last you a while if you only have a couple of plants. And it is completely pure and safe for sand use like this one. Once you have the correct soil and the correct water, you will combine those together. You make sure that the soil is completely humid and soaked all around before you put it in some container. The type of container is not really that critical. Just pick any that it's big enough to hold the seeds so that you can spread them apart and also that it contains some type of, of drainage. In this case, I'm using this recycled plastic container that I get when I buy strawberries, so it has tons of drainage. Besides that, you also need some other container that is a bit larger that can act as a tray. This tray will be critical to keep the right humidity level. And now a couple of optional things that you can use to make this process uh, a lot more successful is to use a, a bottle, a mister that we will use to set up, to set the seeds in the soil, and also saran wrap or Ziploc bags. That can also help keep the humidity high, and I will explain how to use it in just a little bit. Now I will go ahead and demonstrate how to sow those seeds. The seeds that I have collected, I have put in this envelope. I'm not sure if you can see them clearly, but it's those little tiny black specks that are in the bottom of the envelope. So they are very tiny. They can be easily confu confused with dirt or, or anything really. For that reason is that I'm doing this process indoors to prevent any type of, of wind to spread, to like push them away. And also I'm doing all these on top of a, of a table that might highlight any seeds that fall outside. To be able to sow them, the most important rule is to never bury those seeds. If you bury them, they will never grow. The only thing you need to do is actually very simple. Just sprinkle the seeds around, do your best to not clump them all together, and that's, that's it. So let me show you. So instead of burying those seeds, just sprinkle them around all over the soil. I do not like to use my fingers directly because they tend to stick to your skin. But if you just kind of tap whatever container you're using, that should work. 
while I do this, I would really appreciate if you can like this video. It helps me grow the channel and also spread this information to more and more people. Also, if you're interested in carnivorous plant growing, feel free to subscribe. I believe they are almost all gone. It is really hard to tell because they are really tiny, but I believe I have sowed all of them into the soil, or at least most of them, and hopefully I can get at least, at least a handful of, of new seedlings. After you set the seeds in the, in the potting media, then you go ahead and grab mister and just mist around to make sure that those seeds make good contact with the soil. Some people also use their, their own fingers to kind of press the soil, but especially with peat moss, it's really almost impossible to see where the seeds are. So I find the method kind of hard, uh, at least with peat. And of course, um, my mister is full of distilled water. Again, it has to be pure water to, to be successful. After that, just a couple of more steps. You're going to grab that distilled water or pure water that you have employed. And um, you're going to go ahead and add the water into the tray. About an inch in depth is usually enough. Really, the goal here is just to ensure that the soil will remain humid at all times. And after that, I'm going to put some saran wrap on top to preserve the humidity. I will make sure to keep the seeds uh, humid at all times, so I might have to refill the tray every once in a while if the water level starts going down. Also, I'll place the seeds under grow lights in the same setup where I have the rest of my sundews and at a room temperature. For this specific sundew, for Drosera natalensis, 70 to 80 Fahrenheit is the optimal temperature for germination, so room temperature will work great. But research about your specific sundew seeds so you can provide the best environment. I hope you found this content helpful. Please feel free to ask any questions below and thank you so much for watching.